Hi friends. Welcome to Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. Vermicompost is nothing but the excreta of earthworms, which is rich in humus and nutrients. Wormy wash is the liquid extract obtained from vermicomposting beds and is used as an organic fertilizer for crop plants. Using this HDPE vermicompost bed, you can make both vermicompost and wormy wash with low investment. You can earn 10 to 12 lakh rupees per year in one acre of land. In this video I will show you how to make vermicompost and wormy wash with HDPE vermicompost bed. Watch this video till the end to understand complete process. HDPE vermicompost bed. It comes with different sizes and quality. Price varies based on quality and size of the bed. Good quality beds are available in Disha Organics Company. I will provide their contact details in video description and will pin it at comment section. Please do contact them if you want to buy this setup. If you consider 5 by 2 by 1 foot HDPE bed, you can fill 3000 kilograms of organic materials. Then you can get 900 to 1200 kilograms of vermicompost and 30 liters of wormy wash within 45 to 60 days. Days may differ based on number of worms and size of the bed. How to make vermicompost and wormy wash on HDPE vermicompost bed? At first you have to install the bed. Connect all beds by the help of PVC pipes. Through PVC pipe you can collect wormy wash. Next add neem leaves as first layer. As you know, neem leaves itself one of the best organic fertilizer. So it will improve the micronutrients on vermicompost. Next add chopped rice straw as second layer. It helps to increase aeration in bed. Because of this, earthworms can move freely and it promotes growth and lifespan of earthworms. Add water on top of rice straw. It helps to maintain moisture at the bottom of the bed. It creates natural environment for earthworms. Then add old cow dung. Make sure don't add fresh cow dung. Because it has heat producing gas. Earthworms won't survive under hot condition. Then sprinkle water on top of cow dung. If cow dung is too dry, sprinkle more water. It helps to maintain moisture and movement of earthworms. Again add rice straw. Then sprinkle water on top of it. Again add dry cow dung. Again sprinkle water. Repeat same process until bed get filled. Look at this. Now it is completely filled with rice straw and cow dung. Arrange cow dung and sprinkle water on top of it. Now you can transfer the earthworms. Get earthworms from local vermicompost farmers. Keep worms at the top of bed. Within few minutes, earthworms will go inside the bed. After earthworms went inside bed, then cover entire bed. This system will help to maintain sufficient temperature inside the bed. Earthworms grow well under controlled environment. Vermicompost production duration depends on number of worms and size of the bed. It looks like this when it is ready. Now keep cow dung at one corner, then all worms move that side. Next day collect vermicompost from other side. Then let vermicompost dry for few days. Now it is ready to use. Hope you like this video. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Discover Agriculture channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.